are completely forgiven. And there's nothing between you and your Father God in any way, shape, or form in Jesus' name. He loves you with an everlasting love. And you have received the grace to be completely forgiven of all you have ever done in the name of Jesus. Now, because you've received that grace of forgiveness, you've had some people that have hurt you and wounded you, that have abused you and traumatized you. And because you have been forgiven, I'm going to invite you right now to close your eyes. We're going to ask the Holy Spirit to show you anybody that you need to forgive. And as they come to your mind, either face or name, just say, you don't have to say it out loud. You can just say, Father, I forgive them. You forgive them. I release them. Father, I forgive them. You forgive them. I release them. And we're, we're going to wait just a couple minutes here while you do this. And when you feel like you've been through everybody, just open your eyes so that I know that you're done. If you're having difficulty forgiving, call upon the same grace that forgave you. He will give you the power to do so. Okay, even if you're not done, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes again. And if there's others that the Holy Spirit's shown you that you need to release, you can do that afterwards and make sure that you're clear. Now, there's one last person that you need to forgive, and that's you. So say this with me. Father, I forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. And I release me of all of my judgments, of all of my critical thoughts, Now look at me, in Jesus' name, I declare there's nothing about you that you have anything to be ashamed of. You do not carry any shame in any way, shape, or form in Jesus' name because you are a beloved child of God in whom he is well pleased right now. Because you've already been forgiven, you have nothing to be guilty of because Jesus already took care of that on the cross. So therefore, no guilt whatsoever in Jesus' name. And, and by the way, any time the enemy tries to come and remind you that you should be guilty of something, you can just start saying, not today, Satan, to that as well. In Jesus' name, I declare over you that there is therefore now no condemnation because you are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Therefore, you're not condemned, you're not hopeless, and you're going to keep changing until the day that Jesus comes to get you, in Jesus' name. So take your right hand and put it right here in your chest. And let me pray for you. Look at me. In Jesus' name, I speak healing to the wounds of your soul right now in the name of Jesus. I command your mind, your will, and your emotions to complete, be completely healed and restored. That the shattered pieces of your soul would come back together. And the Lord would put the gold of heaven in the places that were broken. So that you can begin to experience true shalom in your soul. Which is not just peace, but it's wholeness in Jesus' name that you would begin to feel whole again and that God would restore his original dream for your life, that he would begin to experience what it means to truly be a beloved child of God and that in Jesus' name, that his original dream for you would be that which you experience about you, that the experience of your past is no longer valid is no longer true, and the experience of who you are as a beloved child of God is true of you today in Jesus' name. Now, in the name of Jesus, I cancel and I sever every work 
of the powers of darkness against you that caused this trauma and have been lying to you. So in Jesus' name, I cancel and I sever by the blood of Jesus Christ the spirit of trauma, the spirit of torment, and the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Repeat this after me. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. I have a sound mind because I have the mind of Christ. Therefore, I think God's thoughts and I'm not going crazy. In the name of Jesus, I come, I'm going to keep praying for you. I sever every assignment, the powers of darkness related to anxiety, to panic attacks, and to depression related to your trauma in Jesus' name. I sever them from any influence in your life any longer. I also sever any lies of the spirit of suicide or the spirit of death or the spirit of murder in Jesus' name. I also sever the assignments of the spirit of addictions in Jesus' name. And whatever addiction you still carry, command that spirit to come off of that and bring healing to your soul in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I close the door of access of every one of these demonic works and declare you're free in Jesus' name. Now, in the name of Jesus, I also sever every soul tie or one flesh union between you and any person that sexually used you, abused you, or assaulted you in the name of Jesus. I sever that assignment against you and I declare that you are no longer connected to the person who abused you or assaulted you or attacked you or used you any longer in Jesus' name. That in Jesus' name we close the door of access to any demons of lust, of perversion, of pornography, or of pedophilia that have been tormenting you and in Jesus' name, we declare freedom from that right now in the name of Jesus. That you be free right now of all of that. It no longer defines you in Jesus' name. Now take your hand and put it right back up here. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every traumatic image and memory. Keep your eyes open, folks. Every traumatic image and memory that you have carried in Jesus' name that has continued to torment you. And I command every traumatic image and memory to dry up and die right now in Jesus' name. I speak a rewiring of your brain back to pre-trauma functioning in Jesus' name. I command every attentional disorder, every learning disorder that came to you because of your childhood trauma to be healed in Jesus' name. And I command your memory center to wake up again and begin to remember the good things about your life and for your short-term memory to return right now in Jesus' name. Let your short-term memory come back right now in the name of Jesus. I also speak to your sleep center that in the name of Jesus, according to Proverbs 3.24, you begin to experience tonight your inheritance of sweet sleep, which means six to eight hours of uninterrupted sleep beginning tonight in the name of Jesus. Be free to sleep in peace in Jesus' name. Now take